talking about getting up early versus starting work late. All right. <laughs> this is like one of those hard messages. Tough mm -hmm. love. If you don't plan your time, someone else will help you waste it. And that's by our favorite Zig Ziglar. Such a cool, such a cool man. So businesses who nurture leads make 50% more sales at a cost 33% less than non-nurtured prospects. And that's coming from Strategic IC 2017. Wow. Business owners who start working for themselves and think that hours worked at night are just as productive as the hours worked in the morning. That is a lie. <laughs> that is a lie. It is a, it's a big um, yeah, misbelief. Just, just something about those morning hours. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So, Karen, um, what are some questions that business owners might have or might want to challenge me on the, <laughs> the getting up early versus we'll working late? We'll debunk some of the myths. Yeah. When are you more likely to be distracted, in the morning or at night? Well, I know for myself, 100% at night is when all the distractions would take place. So, oh, yeah. I mean, you've got everyone's home from work, mm -hmm. you've got social media, <clears throat> there's television, there's kids. There's laundry, there's dishes, there's supper, there's whatever excursions you do with the mm -hmm. kids. There's appointments that you have for your um, your free time, maybe you, you know, want to work out or go mm -hmm. do a hobby of yours, Spa or whatever. more than likely that distraction is going to come up in the, in the evening time or in the, uh, later in the daytime mm -hmm. for sure. Every time. Yeah. So generally speaking, do we have more ability to tackle hard tasks earlier or later in the day? Generally speaking, for most human beings on the planet, Getting stuff done is easier in the morning. It's when you're fresh, you're rested, you're awake, and you've, you know, you're ready and prepared for the day more in the morning than in the evening. In the evening, you've already gone through your whole day. You're usually tired, more fatigued. You've had a lot of things coming at you throughout the day. So when it comes to maximum productivity, more than likely, it's not going to be happening later in the day, mm -hmm. more earlier. How does morning prep time allow you to prepare for meetings later that day? Well, it helps you to have a plan in place and be able to think through what you're going to be saying and doing. And if there's any uh, documentation or any research that needs to be brushed up on before your meetings, you've got the time to do that first thing in the morning then five minutes before that meeting is supposed to happen. So let's say you start work at eight o'clock and you have a meeting at 8.05. If you get there for eight, you are in trouble because you're not gonna be as well prepared as you could have been if you got there, say, at seven o'clock or 7.30, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So a big difference. What about the commute times, like early in the morning versus later in the morning? Well, I know this from Driving in from where we are, even if I'm 10 minutes later than my normal start time, the traffic is increased by 50 or 60%. It's, yeah. it's dramatically different. So if you go earlier in the daytime, and you can attest to this, the viewer, that the earlier you can get started, the better. So if you're trying to, you know, if you have a nine o'clock start and you're leaving at eight o'clock, you're going to be fighting traffic the whole way. Whereas if you leave at seven o'clock, it's going to be way less. So you, you can test this out yourself. Try leaving 15 minutes earlier than you normally do and see how different the traffic is. Yeah. And you'll be a statistic because you won't be, you'll be like the top end of people that are just higher achievers because you're not like everybody else going in at, you know, whatever time that was. Yeah. That wasn't ideal. Does, um, how does rushing to start work on time generally affect your stress levels if you're always rushing to start to get to work? Well, you're, you're more stressed. I mean, you're, you're under pressure because you're fighting traffic. So you're getting angry at the person in front of you when really you should be just angry at yourself to get started soon enough. Yeah. Um, you're trying to cut in and out of traffic and any little hiccup along the way, whether it's a new construction project or an accident that's happened ahead of you, it just 
provides more stress and anxiety on your life. That's unnecessary. That could have been avoided had you left 15 or 20 minutes earlier than you had started. So, um, you know, it, it just goes to show that if you head out and you plan for any unforeseen events, you get an early start, then, you know, it's going to be a lot better for you when you get into work. You're not all stressed out and frazzled and, you know, still upset at the, the crazy drivers who are in front of you or the slow drivers. And then you can actually focus on your task when you get to work as opposed to trying to come down from that emotional you know turmoil and then finally breathe get focused and then start working so i mean you can waste a lot of time just just coming down from the drive yeah does getting up on time generally provide a sense of accomplishment yeah it does when you get up early and you are able to, you know, make that commitment to yourself and know that you're starting your day off right, it does feel good because, you know, you've accomplished something that most people don't do. Most people don't get up early. Most people don't, you know, prepare for their day ahead of time and, and get all those small tasks out of the way, things like working out, having breakfast, um, you know, waking up the kids, maybe <clears throat> taking in a uh, uh, good article or podcast early in the morning or starting to read a book something of that nature I mean you feel a, a great sense of accomplishment knowing that when you get to work you've already done more than most people do all day yeah it feels so much better when we worked out early in the morning and you know what no one else is at the gym at that time yeah true story <laughs> so when when are the resources and people that you need to coordinate with generally available well those people are normally available first thing in the day, right? That's, that's the best time to be communicating with those people because as things progress throughout the day, other people, they have meetings, they've got uh, deadlines, they've got, they're deep into their tasks and it's, you know, more interruptive to, to, to try and get at them at that point. Mm -hmm. um, from, my, from my estimation, now for high achievers and high performers, it can be just the opposite. In the mornings when they're doing their focused work and they're generally laser beam focused and then in the afternoon they schedule that time in for collaboration and communication with other team members so it really depends on your workplace but um, for me I find that um, if you want to communicate with somebody you can schedule it in the morning for those those deep discussion meetings first thing is, is better for me okay. how does arriving early help keep employees accountable and motivated well that's quite simple if you are expecting your employees to be there on time or ahead of time and you're not then that just gives them the license to not be early yeah. it gives them the permission by you not setting that example for them to um, not follow that same uh, path so um, if you are late for work or someone who is often late, you cannot expect your employees to be there on time to or, or to be motivated to be ahead of time because you're not. Mm -hmm. And I know there's a lot of business owners out there who are you know, solopreneurs or they have one or two employees and they don't have a set schedule. They don't show up on time. They just kind of fly in and out and then they get mad when their employees aren't so there already. Yeah. It's just ridiculous to even expect that. So you've got to set that example for your, your uh, employees. Even if it's just one or two employees. Yeah. I remember you had issues with that in a past job and it was so frustrating that I knew about it and mm -hmm. I shouldn't even have to know about that stuff on your job. Yeah. How does starting early and working late facilitate vacation time? Well, quite simply, Karen, if you are able to get your work done, because you're putting in the time, putting in the, the hours and the effort, then you have the ability to schedule time off. Mm -hmm. If you're just working, you know, you get in at eight and you work till five and you're in and you're in and out, then you're not creating any buffer for yourself. Mm -hmm. You're working more, you can get more done, more accomplished, move the ball further down the field. Then you can actually schedule that vacation time, whether it be a long weekend that you plan with your family or maybe uh, an extended vacation. You're able to actually schedule that 
if you are an early starter and, and you work late. It's just the reality of being a business mm -hmm. owner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do successful people generally start early or start late? Well, I've been doing some research into this and I see that most successful people start early. They're waking up anywhere between three in the morning to five in the morning, sometimes six or 6.30, so anywhere between that time and so they can get an early start in their day. Depending on where they are in their life, some people they have, you know, they've already achieved a lot of things in their lives and right now they're just looking at giving back. So they're, you know, going out and doing speaking engagements or they're mentoring other people or, or things of that nature. So they start generally a little bit later, but people who are in a business like, like me and know that we have, you know, things to do, we start early in the morning, you know, <laughs> four or five o'clock in the morning, and get a good start. So that's what successful people do, and that's what you should be doing. Yes. Well, thanks so much for joining us today. I hope you got some good, harsh love here. <laughs> Make some changes. Maybe start getting up earlier. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Subscribe below, like the video, and we'll see you on the next one.